हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विद योर वाशेफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट फिश फ्राई द कोस्टल द कोंकन स्टाइल इन दिस फर्स्ट वी गोइंग टू टेक सम ऑफ द मसालास एंड ग्राइंड इट इनटू योर पेस्ट ओके हियर आई हैव गॉट रेड चिलीज लिटिल बिट ऑफ सिनेमन क्लव्स कार्डमम पेपर फेनल कोरियांडर सीड्स एंड सम ऑनियन okay you can always pause the video and check again in this we're going to add a little bit of ginger garlic and some tamarind okay this tamarind will give the sha 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 sharpness we're going to add some vinegar also to help it okay here is the vinegar pinch of turmeric and some sugar okay a little bit of sugar and make this into a fine paste you know a lot of people cut the fish many ways lot of them love to cut pomfret into tons but i'm going to show you how you know usually sometimes i do so what i'm going to do is this is little bit little bit tricky so i'm just going to cut the fish into halves literally half okay the first half is going to have the bones one side okay the second half we'll have it on the other side so this is little bit tricky but you know if you can cut it like this you will get a very nice awesome looking fish okay so now we going to take it to the other side and cut the fish again in the center as simple as this i've got two pieces of fish okay look at this how awesome now take this fish just do not cut it too much just give it a little bit of gashes okay and okay as i told you do not cut it too much if you cut it the fish will break okay so just on the surface so you have this awesome fish this side ready and the same thing on this side once again do not try to cut it to the bone because on one side half a side you will have the bone not on the other side okay, look at this so make sure the edges are intact see all the edges are more or less are intact even if you make a mistake of cutting one of the edges no problem we are going to apply the marination and we are going to fry and it will come out pretty good now the paste is all ready i am just going to add some salt just mix this well now this awesome this awesome super awesome paste we are going to put it on the fish okay just you can just spread it with the spoon make sure that this paste is nicely coated okay now usually this kind of preparation the masala goes very well in lot of gravies but now i'm going to use the same thing to fry the fish okay on one side very nicely coat the masala now on this i'm going to take some of semolina and some all purpose flour mix both of this with pinch of salt now just put this semolina and all purpose flour mixture on top of the fish that way this masala is not sticking to you once you do this just tap it okay if you want you can add little extra and tap it now we going to turn the fish on to other side after you put it on the fish and coat it now you going to take this leftover masala and apply it on this side also and we going to do the same thing so you can do this with all purpose flour and semolina or you can even do it with rice flour and semolina the semolina will give a kind of a crispy uh, texture to the fish okay not too much so one side we already put lot of this masala so this side very little should be good same thing again we going to sprinkle this rice flour and the semolina mixture on this side too okay this is how you love it when you're going to eat this fish ha 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 as a snack as a side accompaniment this fish will taste just awesome now with the help of a spoon just take the fish out like this look at it just put on the spoon so we don't burn yourself 
and very carefully drop the fish. We're going to shallow fry the fish. Okay, like this. I'm going to take another piece of the fish, dust off the extra flour and drop the fish in here. So just make sure you do this on a non-stick pan and make sure that the fish sits comfortably in the pan you're frying. It's better you fry one piece at a time. Take help of two spoons. You know, usually in the hotel, when we have a fillet with skin on, we put the skin on first. But, you know, for this, that's okay. You can break the rule a little bit. And, you know, because of the tamarind and the sugar, it is going to caramelize and give you a little bit nice charred color. But the taste is going to be just awesome. Just, you know, fry till it is nice and golden. And you will have this awesome fish ready. And look at this. You know, do not blacken it, but you can give it a nice golden color to this fish and it will taste just awesome. Dear friends, you know, with this uh, suji, it will have a very crispy, you know, sometimes I like the fish to be nice, soft and juicy, sometimes dry. But here, the only the outside is dry and crispy, but inside the fish will be very delicate and tasty. Look at this piece of fish. It is nice, crispy on the out, but nice and juicy inside. Ah, really hot. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's got awesome, awesome sourness, a little bit of sweetness and a taste that goes perfectly with the fish. Dear friends, you have to try this because this is something very, very special. Mm. Wow. Once you try this kind of fish, you will want this flavor again and again. Make it, enjoy it. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.